Right, five simple ways to reduce belly fat without exercise. Purpose of this video is to discuss the five simple ways you can use to reduce belly fat without exercise. To achieve this purpose, I recommend watching this video and typing will do in the comments. We want to engage with this content. Why belly fat is dangerous. Measurements of more than 35 inches for a woman or more than 40 inches for men indicate an increased risk for developing heart disease and type 2 diabetes according to National Institute of Health so we don't want that guys you want to have our inches below those numbers to limit the chance of us getting heart disease and type 2 diabetes I want you guys to watch this video and as you're watching it, think about how this applies to your fitness journey. The middle muffin, the spare tire, whatever the nickname, people with this punch should take note. They may actually have a health risk that is even worse off than those who are obese. Mayo Clinic Dr. Francisco Lopez Jimenez says that's because not all fat is created equal and belly fat is especially bad. It's a fat that promotes uh, the hardening of the arteries, promotes diabetes, promotes inflammation. In a study led by the doctor, results showed men at a normal weight but with a big belly were more than twice as likely to die compared to obese men. Women in the same situation were 32% more likely to die. A measurement called a waist to hip ratio can show if you have too much abdominal fat. To find it, divide your waist circumference by your hip measurement. Certainly, if the value is more than one, is bad. Dr. Lopez Jimenez. Top three things that cause belly fat or high stress. So it can indicate that your cortisol levels increase. Sedentary lifestyle, if you're sitting a lot and you don't move around too much. And sugar, too much sugar can just stay in the body and turn into body fat if we're not using it as energy. All right, so here are five simple ways you can reduce belly fat without exercise. The first one is to consume more fiber. Makes you feel full, no overeating. Also use bathroom more frequently, especially if you consume a specific fiber, which is an insoluble, insoluble fiber. One study linked a 10 gram increase in daily soluble fiber intake to 3.7% lower risk of gaining belly fat, according to Healthline. Some examples of soluble fiber are oats, fruits and vegetables, things like that. The next thing is to increase our protein. Protein help reduce hunger level in our body. It has a thermic effect of food, so when it comes pierce to carbohydrate and fat, protein has one of the higher thermic effect of food. So in that, in other words, you're going to be burning more calories using your metabolism more. About 20 to 30 percent of protein calories are burned while the body is digesting and metabolizing the protein, according to Healthline. Some excellent source of protein are salmon, fish, chicken, ground turkey legume etc third we want to avoid or limit trans fat because it increases storage of fat in our body in addition it also raises cholesterol some examples of trans fat are burgers fried chicken cookies pastries things like that the fourth thing is to avoid limit late eating when we eat late we tend to choose unhealthy meals I recommend having nutrient dense food such as fruits and vegetables. Then I recommend drinking a glass of water. Sometimes when we drink a glass of water, it can make us feel full and then we just go to bed and we be good money. The fifth one is reduce stress. Help us lower cortisol in our body. So some simple ways to reduce stress is to pray more. First Peter 5, 7 states, casting our cares on the Lord because he cares for us. So second thing is to breathe, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. And the last thing is to get in nature, especially when we're surrounded by the four walls all the time, we, we can get some fresh air. So to sum it up, using these five simple steps can help you 
reduce belly fat, which are consume more fiber, increase protein, limit trans fat, limit late eating, reduce stress. I want you guys right now to type will do in a comment because we want to make this actionable steps, not just consuming the information and not doing, and doing anything about it. If you guys have any question, let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you want some help with one-on-one -on -one coaching or group coaching, email me at a channel, period, K, fitness at gmail.com. All right, guys, for his glory, peace.